Hello to YouTube, welcome back to uh, my second Star Wars review. Uh, this one is going to be of the uh, Wave 7, I believe it is, of the Legacy Collection Builder Droid line. Uh, this is the Snow Speeder Pilot Luke figure. Um, <clears throat> I've been seeing a lot on the internet where fans saying that they really like this figure the most uh, for Luke. This is like their definitive Luke figure. Um, and I totally agree with all the comments. Um, I think it does look really, really good. Um, show you a comparison. I have, uh, a Luke here, and this is more the Luke from the, um, uh, A New Hope, where he's doing the trench run on the Death Star. I'm going to get a closer look on their faces, you can see the sculpt, or the head sculpts. Sculpts. Ah, sorry, I can't talk tonight. Um, yeah, as you can see. Oh, sorry. Stupid tripod. Um, this one definitely looks a lot better compared to this one. Um, you can really just about take um, the one on the right and just say that's a completely different figure because it does not look like Luke Skywalker. Um, but yeah. Um, got his helmet here so this is just going to be my uh, X-Wing pilot Luke for the New Hope Wave whenever I do get an X-Wing and just put him in there and he'll be done but so yeah let's get on to the review of the figure we're here for um, as you can see uh, he comes with some accessories uh, mainly noted is the little gun that he uses to shoot the AT-AT uh, which is really nice. Um, I have it set into his little hose here. Uh, that's the only way I can figure it out because I've seen where some people have tied it to this right here. And that's my really big complaint about this finger is Hasbro did not bother to attach this rope anywhere. Because um, this does come out. It doesn't fire. It just pops out. And then you're left with two different pieces. Uh, now, I've rewatched Empire Strikes Back, and when Luke is holding, like when he's going up on the um, AT, AT he'll let go and like hang there for a few seconds, use his lightsaber to cut, and then he'll release it and drop. So, I, I'm pretty sure the rope is not tied right here at the loop of the gun. I'm going to take it off right now so it's out of the way of the review. Um. So yeah, he comes with the gun, and he is very, very poseable. Um, comes with ball jointed head, shoulders, ball hinged elbows, swivel wrist. Um, it's got some movable in the torso. Um, ball hinged knees and ankles. Um, so yeah, uh, one thing to note that yeah, different from the other one is he has this little hood on, which is really neat. Uh, whenever you put the helmet on, though, it is kind of hard to get off. Right before the review, I was trying to get it off, and his whole head came off with it. So if you want to put it on, you might want to just leave it on there, uh, which is probably what I plan to do is just put it away and let it sit there. But yeah, as I said he uh, before, he does come with the... Um, lightsaber. Oh, please, you can stand. There you go. And it doesn't have the blade out. It's not ignited. Um, which is really neat because I like it when they do this. Um, but I wish they had like given this and then one that was lit or something they could plug in. I don't think the plug in blade would have worked. But given this one and one to have on his own that is ignited would have been nice. But that's just me being picky. Um, he also comes with the Builder Droid figure. This is HK50. Oh, yeah, HK50. Um, sorry, I had to look it up there. He comes with the head and the shotgun, which looks really cool. Um, get a closer look at the head there. Now a lot of people might know this if you are just a casual fan you might not um, this is from 
I think it first introduced in the uh, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, also known as KOTOR um, video game, but it was a different color. It was like a brownish red color. I um, only have the head, the left leg, and right arm. I don't have the torso or the other leg or the other arm, but we're getting there. Um, so yeah, I plan on doing a lot more reviews of Star Wars figures, so um, if y'all have any comments to give me to help improve the um, videos, uh, let me know. Just leave a comment on the bottom. Yeah. And um, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.